right, I'm going to go over how to add a skin and just how these files work. So if we're actually going to open up our demo files under player, demo, you can see that we have a bunch of different skins. And you'll notice the way we add these skins are exactly the same. So for instance, the fancy skin that you have in the uh, live preview that starts out with, um, all you have to do is add a style sheet at the top. So let's go and open up the fancy skin example and we can see if we scroll to the top, we added one of these CSS files in the head of your document and it is just to the slash CSS folder slash skin fancy dot CSS. Then the next step, all we have to do is add progression fancy. So we can see we've added it under our audio and video and playlist examples. So if we actually remove that progression fancy from each of those calls, it will just revert back to the default um, player. So that's all you have to add in right there is the progression fancy class and the style sheet and you have your custom skin. And that's how it works for all of these. And you'll notice in the slash CSS folder, we have all these skins laid out. So if you wanted to, um, you know, if you like the fancy skin or a minimal skin and you want to adjust it, you can actually just open it up and you'll see the table of contents at the top. And uh, from there, you can go in and adjust any of the backgrounds. For example, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to adjust this background. So this is the main background color. We can just make it red. I'm just doing that as an example to show you how easy it is to adjust the colors. And if you're curious, all these background images, these are basically just what creates the gradients. So you would have a light to dark color, etc. And it's just bottom to top. Um, so, and these are all noted so it lets you know what browsers are being affected by that. All right. And so that basically covers how to make, how to adjust your skin. And um, that is covered.